So are we going somewhere? We're going somewhere. Okay, so we are moving now. The boat is moving. Right. When you're flying 200 miles an hour, you can go three miles in one minute. So that's what makes it so difficult to figure out exactly where you landed because the jet was traveling fast. This is exactly the kind of place that the money was found. The area that I'm looking at is right up here. So the money that was found, do you know anything about it? I know a lot about it. Exactly. Whoa. Is that the money that the boy found? This is literally the money that D.B. Cooper jumped out of the parachute with. This is one of the bills. Messy, messy. Messy, messy. You are not going on the secret mission today with the secret deep agent of the Game Master unless you clean up these Legos first, okay? Do you understand, Agent Pikachu? Okay. All right, you might be a secret agent, but you still have to clean up your Legos. Whoa, that looks pretty creepy. There's the nose, the eyes, the mouth. That's pretty cool. So you were trying to clean up, but and, he, got distracted. and he couldn't help it, he got distracted. And when you were a little kid, that was fine. But what? you are not a little kid anymore. Well, and so an I know pack. it's hard to not pick there, up your Legos whenever you just want to put them together, but you need to pick up your Legos. And at the back, there's a little escape hatch. You can jump from there and wow. here. The ship gets destroyed. That is yeah. sweet. Escape. Okay. Escape. Nice work, man. All clean. Good job. Okay, are you ready to go? Yep. Come on, I let's... I just got a new fidget spinner. Wait, oh, watch. let me see. Watch my trip. Nice. Wow, that's pretty sweet. What is up, Adventure Agents? Okay, so on our last episode, we got a text message from the real Game Master saying that we have to go on a top secret mission with a deep agent that knows a lot about the DB Cooper case on a boat. So we're about to head there, go pick up Agent Rex, but first we gotta go get some of our evidence so we can share it with that secret agent. Come on, let's go get that evidence from our safe. All right, come on up. Okay, so agents, oh, we have here the safe that holds all of the DB Cooper evidence that we have so far for this case. And I want to show this deep agent, whoa, that evidence. Now, me, Agent Tex, Agent Pikachu, and Agent Rex each have one code to this safe, but Agent Rex is in here, and I forgot my code. Did you forget yours too? Yeah. We forgot our code. <laughs> Agents, are we? So I'm having to go back to the original footage of the video we recorded and get the uncut version so we can get the codes for this safe to get the mystery evidence out. Okay, so this is the uncut footage. Here we go. Right. 98 is the first one. Okay, so we got the first one, 98. Okay, so we got the first code. Now we're gonna get the second code. Okay, so now, the third number we need to do, we need to rotate it right till we hit it, okay? All right, so, we're gonna go right until we hit the third number. Okay, there it is, all right, now, pull it down. Moment of truth, I hope this opens. Yes! So here's our top secret file here with all the DB Cooper stuff. Here is the original find, the original clue with the $20 bill, I'll bet that the deep agent wants to see this clue here and hopefully maybe we can help each other out all right let's put this evidence in here any more evidence in there nope close our safe up oh spin that dial all right let's get out of here come on let's go get agent rex i am groot <laughs> okay so we are here with agent rex now are you guys ready to go do you think yeah. you're ready for this I don't know. We don't know what to expect here meeting this new agent. We'll see. All right, let's head there to the boat. Okay, so I just sent a text to the True Game Master saying we are here at the docks. What now? Okay, so I just got a response from the True Game Master. Let me read it here. It says, Agents, Agent Elvis. Agent Elvis. That's pretty cool. We'll meet you at 6.30 at the boat docks. He will send you a text message when he is ready. Okay, so I guess uh, the true game master gave Agent Elvis our phone number. That is a cool agent name. I'd never heard that agent name. Of all the agent names that you guys have posted, I've never heard Agent That's Elvis. That's probably his actual name. It might be. What if it's Elvis Presley? 
What if he never really died? He just became an agent of the Game Master. How old was he? There's a lot of conspiracy theories about how that. How old was okay, he? Agents, so, uh, how old was he? Mm, and how did he die? Uh, he would be really old now. <laughs> I'm not sure. He'd be pretty old. Whoa. He's okay, so we're here at some kind of boat docks. There is a lot of boats here. I wonder which boat we're going to be going to. And I wonder if we're going to be going on a boat ride or maybe this agent just lives in a boat and we're just visiting him at his like secret boat location. Who knows? All right, well, we'll just have to sit tight and wait for Agent Elvis to send us a text message to tell us where to meet him here at this docks, where the boat is that we're going to be meeting at. Now I got a weapon. You got a weapon? <laughs> so, Agent Rex is saying that we should probably be careful because we don't know who this person is and we need some weapons. Some of you may remember that time that we fought, faced the false game masters and we had to have weapons just in case to defend ourselves. I don't think that we're gonna need weapons here. This is way out in the public and the true game master, I do not think would have sent us to someone who we might need weapons to defend ourselves against. Okay, so it is been 20 minutes uh, since it hit 6.30 and we are still waiting out here. And Agent Rex and Agent Pikachu are fighting. Are you okay? <laughs> so here's what we gotta do, okay? We gotta make sure that you guys don't kill each other before we meet this agent, okay? Because that would not be good. <laughs> so let's let's keep it together here, okay? That's crazy. It looks like smoke. What is that? I have no clue. Don't uh. no 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 don't do that. I mean, look Where'd at you it. find that? I just randomly found it on the ground. It looks like some kind of like this. nut or something. Okay, so we've decided to go ahead and start scoping things out. We're gonna go and see if we can find a ramp down to these uh, boats here and check out this, uh, this little right boat dock area here. Oh yeah, there's a ramp right there, come on. Okay, come on, let's head over there. We're just getting a little impatient. You know, sometimes when you're solving a mystery, you gotta be patient, but it can be very hard sometimes. And so we're just gonna start messing around a little bit here and see what we can find. Oh, got a text, got a text. Nope. Ugh. Yeah, this is, uh. A lot of boats here. There's hundreds of boats here. Yep, there's a boat ramp right there. Ah, man, we can't go down on this boat ramp because it's blocked off, it's private property. I'm guessing that the agent, Agent Elvis, is going to have to let us in somehow. We don't want to do anything illegal. We have to test, test for sure. him now. Okay, I told them in five minutes I would text the Game Master, so I'm gonna go ahead and text him. Hopefully something hasn't gone wrong. Hopefully Agent Elvis hasn't been compromised somehow. Uh, maybe the false game masters heard about this situation and they're coming in to to intervene here Who knows we don't know what's going on. So I'm gonna text the game master see what happens Okay, so I sent a message that says all good still haven't heard from agent Elvis yet So we'll see what the true game master responds with you guys still a little impatient Yeah, good things come to those who wait and those who wait patiently We'll see. Okay, so we have to use the bathroom and in order to use the bathroom around here, they have these like top secret little key cards here that you have to swipe in order to get in. So, oh, here we go, open. All right, All right we need to use the bathroom while we do it. Okay. Hello? Hey, is this, is this Agent Elvis? Okay, it's Agent Elvis, you guys. Okay. Okay, so uh, we are here at the docks and we're on the north side of some apartment buildings by a, a little cafe and we see there's like a little aluminum boat ramp that leads down to the water but it's 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 uh it's got like a key card thing or something i don't think we can uh, go down there so the gate we're looking at they have these like iron spikes right here that make it to where you can't get by and they told us that we can't go in unless we have the key card so people are coming in out of the doors Okay, yeah, I think we are in the wrong area. Okay. We'll probably have to get in our vehicle and drive over to that area. Well, I'm, I'm in the parking lot of this cafe. Maybe we'll just walk around the building right now. We'll, we'll head that direction. Okay, agents, so I think we were at the wrong place. And I think this is it now. There's this tunnel over here that we have to go through. And it looks like the GPS coordinates say that we're supposed to be right there. And there's the building, we have to go through the building, and that's the tunnel we have to go through to go through the building. What are you guys doing? Come on, stop messing around, let's go, come on. These agents, always messing around. Oh, no, I'm wet. I'm really wet. Well, of course you're wet, you walked through the waterfall. <laughs> so, I wonder if Agent Elvis looks like Elvis Presley. 
you know, we need to look for someone. Like, who do we, what do we look for? What do they look like? Look for someone who looks like Elvis Presley. I think that would be the first clue here, right? <laughs> What, what if he actually did look like Elvis Presley? And what if whenever we saw him, he was like, Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? So, here we are. Yes, yeah. Carl. Let's see. How oh, I've never been here. Fancy hotel. It's not a hotel, it's an apartment complex. Boat ramp, boat ramp. Let's see. Ah, there's something right there. Look. Oh, pool. <gasps> look at that. Oh, here we go, right here. Ah, the gate's open. He called me. Let me send him a message. Okay. Okay, so I just sent him a message telling him that we are heading down the ramp. So looking for someone who looks like Elvis Presley. I don't know, maybe he looks nothing like Elvis Presley, but uh, anyways, we'll see. That looks like some pretty dirty water, actually. I wouldn't go swimming in there. All right, okay, so we're getting down here at the bottom of the ramp, and uh, Agent Elvis? Agent Tex. Text. This is Agent Rex. Agent Rex. Agent Pikachu. Yep. And Agent Pikachu. And uh, uh, right now, this camera right here, uh, actually the people who watch our shows, they are uh, agents as well. That's really loud. Um, so that's why I have the camera. They help us to solve our mysteries. Um, nice. So where are we going? Well, hold over here. We've got some top secret information for you guys, but I think we oh, okay, should that's run that's it's gonna be top secret. Okay, well we'll just follow you, okay? Alright. Alright, come on, let's follow him. Oh wow, look at this boat. This thing is so cool. So are we going somewhere? We're going somewhere. Okay. All right. All right. Can you tell us where we're going, or? I can't tell you right now. Okay. Top secret. Okay. Very important. We're going somewhere. He can't tell us where we're going, but we'll just have to wait to find out. Okay. Okay. So we are moving now. The boat is moving. I don't know where we're going. This is kind of a little bit, just a little bit scary. That's the motor back there. Wow. That thing looks pretty powerful. How far away are we going? Oh, it's just a couple of miles. It's pretty close by, but okay. importantly, it's to a top secret location. That is a big boat. That's a yacht, right? That is a yacht, yeah. Wow. That is a really that, look, that boat, boat has a boat on top of it. Exactly the kind of place that the money was found. Okay. It looks just like this. Like Tina Bar? Exactly. So that we were wondering if we were gonna go to Tina Bar. We, we we got really close to Tina Bar when we went to Caterpillar Island. We didn't go there because we thought it would be illegal because it's private property. Yeah. Um, it, it, is the sandbar private property? The sandbar itself is not private property. Oh, but really? just beyond it is private oh, property. Okay. So the thing is that if you want to get to the sandbar, you have to go via the river. So you maybe we could have gone there with our kayaks. We were right there. But we didn't. We could have we could have parked our boats there, our kayaks there. All right, we're, we're getting away from the shore because this boat needs to be in deeper water. Yeah, okay, we're good now. It's okay. getting very close, so we don't want to get beached there just like the money. So the money that was found, do you know anything about it, or or do you know anything about? I know a lot about it. Okay. In fact, this is part of what's top secret stuff. Okay. This here. 
actually Whoa. made. Whoa! You guys, look at this! Is that the money? It's the real thing, look at that. The money that the boy found? Yes, it is. That's really the money. And you know how we know that? How? My investigation showed that this bill was one of D.B. Cooper's bills because it has a serial number. You see there's a serial number on it? Oh, yeah, that number right there. Right there, yeah. That matches Wow. part of D.B. Cooper's loot. That's incredible. So, so this bill... D.B. Cooper, D.B. Cooper, 1971, ransom money, founded by Brian Ingram. This is literally the money that D.B. Cooper jumped out of the parachute with. The this is incredible. I'm not part of the FBI. I'm part of a secret agency that's researching and investigating the D.B. Cooper case. And this piece of evidence, I came in contact with this piece of evidence a few months ago. Wow. I know you guys have been doing a lot of work too. So I figured, you know, I could show you what evidence I have and that may help in your investigation. Okay. And maybe some of your evidence, right I could take a look at it. It could help me in my investigation. But that's the real money, and you see how, see that how looks so it old. looks and decrepit. Yeah. Wow. That means that means we think that it was buried in that sand back there for a long time. Right. Before it was found by this kid Brian Ingram. Brian Ingram was eight years old when he found it. Is it the only evidence that they've ever found? Or have they found anything well, else? Well, there's one small piece of evidence. is a little plastic sign. Really? That tore out of the back of the jet when it was flying with D.B. Cooper in it. It was right before D.B. Cooper jumped. Uh-huh. And it blew out of the back of the jet when the door was open. And that was found actually a few years later. Really? So that was the second piece, and that, that was actually the first piece that was found, and then the money was found after that. Our evidence is right here. This is what we found, and we don't know what it means, but it's a half of a $20 bill, and it has the serial number cut out of it. And what another you... half with the serial number come out. And then another half we found in a different area and it has some writing on it. What do you make of that? This doesn't look as old as that money. Yeah. Do you think it could possibly be some of the money that wasn't buried? Well, I know... Does that look like the $20 bills from that time it period? Look, it looks very similar, but it is different. Okay. There's this couple ways that I can tell that it's different. Okay. One of the ways I can tell it's different is because it says that right there, will pay to the bearer on demand, which means this is a very old bill. This bill is even older than this bill. There weren't any bills this old given to D.B. Cooper. We know what bills were given to D.B. Cooper, and we know how old they were. So this is, this, this is, is, as far as you know, not some system. of the money that D.B. Cooper That's had. correct. This bill is a little too old. Okay. A little okay, too so, old. So, so this it is, is different. So it's not part of the money given to D.B. Cooper. You can see it's a little different. I mean, this one's obviously chewed up and worn out, but... It looks older. But that's just because it was buried in sand. Yeah. yeah. So it's really hard to tell on here, except because of even the year, like the year, I think, is the, the 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 series year, which is right below there. I think below the tear there is. I don't think is there anymore. But I, it's, it says right there, it uh -huh. was 1963. Oh, okay. So we know okay. that because they could match the serial number to the year 1963, right. and you can see your bill. And that was about the oldest of the money that you, right. DB Cooper, had. Okay. Your bill is from 1950. So it's significant. Oh, wow. It says right there. Okay, on. so yeah, it's, it's older. So what do you make of the fact that this is signed by D. Cooper? And, and we found many other things. We found gold coins and, and other evidences and other notes with D. Cooper on it, or Coop. What do you make of that? Do, do you think that, that it's connected or... What do you think? Because we've only been on this case for a few months. You've been on this for years, right? Well, if you found money that had D.B. Cooper's signature on it like that, maybe he got it at some other point 
and for whatever reason, there may be a reason that we don't understand for him to actually put his name on there. Maybe he's trying to throw the authorities off, so actually maybe this is oh. a, a real Cooper $20 bill. Not one of the ransom bills, but another real one that he had. Okay. Maybe he's trying to throw the investigators, you and me, off by doing that. I never thought about that. Huh. Yeah. Wow. So obviously, when law enforcement sees this and they see his name written on it, they're thinking, hey, that's D.B. Cooper's money. That may give us a clue where he is. That helps. That helps. We know for sure that this was not actually one of the bills that he jumped out of the plane with. That's correct. But this was. So what do you guys think about that? What do you think about his theory? I guess we won't ever really know if this really was D.B. Cooper that wrote this. Well, Unless Al tells us. Right. We suspect our neighbor Al might be D.B. Cooper or might be somehow connected to this. Well, no. have you seen Al's handwriting? What is it oh. like? Oh, I never thought of that. That's a great idea. Oh, thank you. That is a great idea. We, we were hoping that our evidence could help you out somehow. We did find some hideouts that were somewhere around where the FBI estimates that the drop zone was. I want to show you some of our other evidence. Do you mind looking at it real quick? Okay, so this is the top secret file that we put together. I crunched it up in here. This right here, we were doing some searching in the area where the FBI estimates the drop zone was, in this line right here, and we found some some things, some some hideouts with some notes in them and stuff, and uh, what, do you, what do you think about that? Well, I'll tell you this. That is where the FBI think he jumped. Uh -huh. they, they think he jumped in that area, so if you found hideouts in that area there, that could easily be D.B. Cooper's line out. Okay. Yeah, do, very, do you think he jumped in that area? I think my investigation shows that he jumped somewhere different. Really? And if you guys would be interested at some point, I'd like to take you there to show you where I think D.B. Cooper actually jumped. It's not a place talked very about very much because very few people have the same kind of information that I have. What do you think? Do you guys want to go with him sometime? Mm -hmm. So what, what will we be going to do? Well, you know that D.B. Cooper has some missing evidence. There's some missing evidence that we're looking for that D.B. Cooper had. <clears throat> Remember when D.B. Cooper jumped from the jet, he needed a parachute to jump. Otherwise, he would have just splatted on the ground. Right. So he had he jumped with two parachutes. Neither yeah. one of those parachutes has ever been found. So That's they're right. still out there. That's right. That's what we heard too. That 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 the parachutes have never been found. The only thing that was found that DB Cooper had That's on him was nice. some of the money and some of the money that you have there. That's right. So we found some of the money, but there's still a lot of money still missing. Uh -huh. But the parachutes have never been found, and I think I know where they are. Really? Also, there is an <laughs> attaché case that DB Cooper jumped with, which is a, like a briefcase. That oh yeah. Also never been. Found. The one with the with what with, with the bomb in it, or what they thought That's was a bomb. Correct, yes. Do you think it was actually a bomb? I I don't think it was a real bomb. I think okay. it was a fake bomb. Right, because maybe it would have exploded whenever it well, fell. That's the thing. He Potentially. jumped with it, so I don't I don't know why he would jump with a real bomb. That doesn't make any sense. Right, right. That doesn't make a, any sense. Jumping with a fake bomb is harmless. Can we go there right now, or is this something we'll have to do another time? We're going to have to do it another time because it's okay. an extensive journey, and you see the sun's getting low. Right. So it would take us probably two hours to get there from here. I'll have to talk with some people that I do business with okay. and find out if they need me to go anywhere else beforehand. Okay. But Maybe. As soon as they give me the green light, Maybe. we're good to go. Where on this map would it be? Yeah, where would it be on this map? If it's not in this line, where would it be? This, Here's the Columbia River yes. here. Is this what we're on, the river we're, we're on? on the, this is where we are right now, on the Columbia River. Mm -hmm. The area that I'm looking at is right up here. Right up wow, here. Wow, that's so pretty far think, away from where the FBI Well, thought. it looks far, but it's not as far as you think. It okay. is a few miles, but it's not a real big difference. But this is what I'm thinking. Because you have to remember, one of the things that we learned about D.B. Cooper was the jet that he was flying on he was flying almost 200 miles an hour. Right. When you're flying 200 miles an hour, you can go three miles in one minute. Wow. So it's very easy to cover 
six miles or nine miles in two or three minutes very easily. Right. So that's what makes it so difficult to figure out exactly where he landed because the jet was traveling fast. This is all the evidence we have so far. We have a few other items like a lantern and some, some notes that we found, but I didn't bring it all. I thought this was the most relevant evidence okay. here. These, this is good evidence right here. This is very good evidence. Okay. These are the only people, especially her right here. Tina, Tina Mucklow, Tina right? Tina Mucklow. She's very important because she's the only person to spend basically five hours sitting right next to D.B. Cooper talking to D.B. Cooper. What do you think about the fact that the money was found on Tina Barr and Tina Mucklow? Well, the one who was, do you think that's just a coincidence? I, I do. I actually think that's just a coincidence. Okay. okay. The thing about this when you're investigating D.B. Cooper is sometimes you hear things like that and it's easy to get distracted and kind of go down the wrong path. And all of a sudden you're searching in the wrong area and you're searching for the wrong person. There's only one true D.B. Cooper. There are times when other people pretend to be D.B. Cooper. Do you think that that could be who we're following? Somebody who's pretending to be D.B. Cooper? I think it's possible that the D.B. Cooper that you're following is not the real D.B. Cooper. Like a copycat or something? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Now... Like if somebody tried to like pretend that they were like the real Batman and... Yeah, huh. exactly. But the Dude. thing that makes D.B. Cooper different is that if there's a somebody pretending to be D.B. Cooper, we have to ask, why are they pretending to be D.B. Cooper? Right. Did anybody ask them to pretend to be D.B. Cooper? Maybe D.B. Cooper asked them to oh, pretend to be Oh, wow, to throw them off the trail, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. Possibly. Huh. Possibly. All right, was there anything else you needed to show us? Like or that. See, or this, uh, see this here? Mm -hmm. Look at those serial numbers. Right, yeah, these, I those printed it out to see if we could check for our serial number, but we didn't have any. There's, there's about 35 pages worth of these numbers, and on one of, and one of those pages, the number on the bill that I showed you... Matches? So it matches. Oh, and wow. That's how we know what's real. I never expected that the top secret evidence that, that the Game Master said that you had would be an actual one of the bills that was found at Tina Barn. That is crazy. That is very crazy. important evidence. Wow. It's real evidence. It's real evidence. Yeah. Do you think Al could do... Could... We have a neighbor yeah. named Al that we yeah, think I, I could who, be, and we I asked him. Who Al is. I... What? You know who Al is? I do know who Al is. Do you suspect him? Well, personally, I don't suspect Al is the real D.B. Cooper. Okay. It's probably somebody as else. Game Master? I can tell you at some point, but I need to talk with some people first before I reveal the name. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is he now, still alive? He is still alive. He's How still alive? He? He's still alive. He's 93 years old. Wow. I want to talk about this picture here. Now, okay. This looks to you a lot like the jet that D.B. Cooper jumped with. Yeah? Yeah. But it's somewhat different. So oh, I know, really? I know it's not the same jet. Oh, okay. And there's one small detail that tells me that. And it's that back door. See that back door right there? Uh-huh. The jet that D.B. Cooper jumped with mm. did not have a back door like uh, that. Or a okay. front door like that. Huh. It did have a front door. It just didn't have it a didn't back have door. didn't have a back door. Okay. Wow, you, how do you know that? that so that's that's, that's a, really detailed information. It's a little different. It's the same. And there's the ramp. Yeah, it has, it's the same style of What's jet. That? It's very similar, but it's a little that? longer. That how, looks like How many years have out. you been studying this case? I've been studying this case for probably 10 or 11 years. Wow. But I've been aware of it for probably almost 40 years. Wow. Yeah. And how old are you? I'm 53. So since you were 13. Yeah, I was about 13 or 14. Just a little bit older than you guys. That's like you guys trying to solve this case for another 40 years. That's a long time. That's right. And no wonder you had so the money and stuff. So most of your such. life you've known about this and have been trying to figure it out. Well part of my life I've been trying to figure it out, but I've known about it most of my life. Oh, okay. Yes. This is the area where we found one of the hideouts with a note in it okay, that was wow. someone that claimed to be D.B. Cooper that well, said Well, that's Cooper. very close to where the FBI thinks that he jumped, so, I mean, there's... You know, and do you think he's around here? 
I don't, I actually think he's in some place different, but there are other people, FBI agents. Oh, somewhere up, like over here by the Columbia. I actually think he's down in that direction. So you think D.B. Cooper landed here? That's correct. I think D.B. Cooper landed here. Ridgefield National Wildlife right Refuge. There. Wow. We are is a little bit further down from that. Can we search that area? We can go check it out. There's right some. Now? We can't do it right now because it's a little ways away. But there are some areas that we can search. Uh huh. And other areas that we can. Okay. Okay. All right. So they're off limits. That's like, correct. like it's illegal to go and search there. That's correct. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Something could be hiding there, but we can't go there because it's illegal. That's right. That is interesting. Are you allowed there? I'm not even allowed there. No. Wow. But there oh, are only there are, the FBI and the police. Well, there are parts. There are parts though that the, really the whole area is secret and off limits. Huh. I'm allowed to go to part of it. Okay. There's other parts of it I'm not allowed to go. Is that where you might take us, potentially? Right. I will take you to the park. Do you guys want to go and help them search? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That would be very that cool. Is there awesome. any where you can take us I today? I hope we can do that. Well, today I wanted to show you where what the, the area looks like where the money was found. Okay. It's very right. important. That's mm -hmm. the first step. And once you understand that, of evidence. Like, I recognize then, that area. Then it's you like, go to the next piece of evidence, which is where he could have jumped. Right. It's like, I recognize it. It's a few bushes here and there. Mm hmm. And the rest is just beach. Mm hmm. And behind it. Kind of like on hills. Caterpillar Island. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank yeah. you for your help. Absolutely. We really appreciate it. All right, so we are on our way back to the docks right now. And it might be a little bit because we're pretty far away. Thank you so much, Agent Elvis. We really appreciate all of the help that you gave us. We appreciate you sharing that top secret information with us. Hopefully our information will help you. And we really look forward to, if, if you would have us out um, to help you search for the parachute, we would really love to do that. I would like you guys to help out. All right. So all right. Thank you very much. So who's hungry? Me. 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 After all that, we deserve some food, right? Yep. Dude, so what do you guys think about the fact that we just witnessed an actual $20 bill that D.B. Cooper jumped out of the plane with so many years I ago? I never thought we would ever I didn't. I did not either. I didn't think that that's what we were coming out here to see, that that would no, be the piece of evidence. No, I thought when he, when he said, I have a really special piece of evidence. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's one of the only one pieces of ev evidence. It when is. he said that, I thought, I thought this. Hmm, is it a $20 bill? No, <laughs> it can't be. Only the FBI has that. Yeah, isn't that crazy? So in the story, in the FBI, in that documentary, the FBI actually let that, that boy and his father keep some of those $20 bills. So somehow this guy got a hold of it. That is so valuable. That money is worth who knows how much money. That Probably one fractured $20 a bill. Lot for that. Probably, I don't know how he got his hands on that, but he must be a super, super special agent in order to be able to get a hold of something like that. He might have like paid them incredible. a lot of money to get one of that bill. All right, That's so what do you guys think about what he said say. about our case? That we might be following a copycat? Uh, probably not. Probably, probably not? not? You think we're still on the case of the real D.B. Cooper? Yep. Okay, well. I think it's very likely that it could be a copycat. But not. But even if it is a copycat, there's money involved here. There's there's gold coins that we're finding worth lots of money. So yeah, well, not something's about going on. Money, it's no no. I'm not saying it's about money. But what I'm saying is it's for real, right? Yeah. That the, the gold is an evidence that there's some something real going on. Well, we had a blast going on this boat, learning some new information, and we hope you enjoyed watching the video. Remember, we love you. We think you're awesome. We're so glad you joined us today. Life's an adventure. Love is the key. We love you.
All right, we'll see you later on the next adventure. Oh, and I forgot to mention that for anyone who's interested, Agent Elvis has his own YouTube channel under his real name, Eric, where he talks a lot about all of the D.B. Cooper cases.